Bilang kabataan, marami kaming mga pangarap. Pero tuwing naiisip ko ang salitang pangarap, napapatanong na lang ako, posible kaya yun? Posible kaya naming maabot ang mga pangarap na? Ako si Francesco Moristan. Ako si Francesco Moristan. Ang I'm at Andrew, ang hindi ko lang, great in everything that you do with the past of the academy. I'm Mia Sobriano, the owner of the first party in Kayadis Pilipinas. Hi, I'm Tim Rodrigo Roque, senior manager slash team head of uh, the Asian group of Jesus Man. So let's start with the question. Um, question number one. How many employees do you have and how do you handle your employees? Okay, for Jesus Man, we have a total of 6,055 employees as of last week. So we're talking about... 6,000, more than 6,000 employees that are uh, national, so all over the Philippines. So, your second question, to be able to cater or to manage the employees, our group is set up according to function. So, let's say, for example, if there's any benefit-related concerns of employees, there is teacher services for benefits. For payroll-related concerns, so we have payroll, okay? and then labor relations, we have labor relations or employer relations. And for hiring, for manpower concerns, so there's talent acquisition team, where I am a part of. So that's, those are just a few of the units who are managing and servicing the employer. Uh, currently, we have two staffs. So we have two, uh, three part Before we start with the EFC Talaga, I had to do it long before, so I was in the corporate community for eight years. So, yeah, for eight years, I was an HR executive. And I was very excited about the handling of the employees. But it's still different when you handle your own. So, you have to accept that as soon as you have So, we want them to be comfortable in our work environment. And then, we also provide the pantry free for all. So, even though, of course, when they come to us, the other ones are free shit. From 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. So, we want them to be comfortable in our work place. So, we're not all doing well for them. Yes, so para maging efficient sila and more effective sa mga. So your question, I would like to answer that from the perspective of an employee grown up as a team head or manager based on my observation of the leadership style of our executives. So I observe that in general, there is a participative type of leadership. Um, being implemented where leaders encourage team collaboration, invest in growth of employees. Let's say, for example, we have a program where we uh, encourage our employees to take courses in under uh, LinkedIn. Do you think this leadership style suits the type of business working in your life? Next, in, in our five months, we 
Ang isang partner na si Jay Raya. So, after na ang hindi pa na umilala if it's effective. Kasi some, half of them effective, half of them not. So, may mga nag-a-awal sa employees. Awal meaning na mawala na lang the next day. So, after all the perks na binibigay sa employees, yeah, or still, the next day, pag-isip mo, wala na si Jay. So, talagang, Another C is change for the better, so we make sure that we keep an eye on 
communication and has been able to rule our quest for operational excellence. And F is for filling this family if we're in the invest in bringing up the best among our employees and our partners. And next is entrepreneurial mindset wherein we pursue new opportunities and take ownership in our decisions. Shared benefit for S where we grow hand in hand together with our stakeholders and E which is a very important value is trustworthiness we, we're in, we deserve and preserve the trust. So those I think value, those values I think are our strengths as a company because we ensure that all employees understand and manifest these values. And as for the weaknesses, I can say that perhaps it's the agility to implement AI related uh, apps or let's say technology because nowadays no AI is, is uh, very important. It's everywhere. So I think we should come up with um, technology automation that is inclined with artificial intelligence. for cooking and baking kasi before I started uh, this business uh, inuwi ko mo yung skills ko sa baking so I studied culinary so before before that talaga mo meron mo na ako so siguro ang ma-advise ko sa mga young social media entrepreneurs is find your passion do it find your passion and then own your skills so dream it and do it and then Mahirap na ulo, kasi pag nasa gitna ka ng laban, ang hirap na hindi ka pwede sumuko eh. Kasi ang return of investment, hindi yan isang business lang, hindi na kayo. So when it comes to business, 1 to 3 years ka pa k
kamay. At ang aming mga pangarap na sing taas ng alapaap ay sa susunod amin ng mayayakap. Balang araw Balang araw Balang araw kami naman. Hold me close till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left Storms we chase a leaf.